Well, good day, Faith Focus Hello Daily. Here it is uh, November 19th. I think that's uh, Friday. That's right. Uh, 2021. Uh, jumping back into God's Word as we look at the month of gratefulness, we're going to see yet again this whole idea of thanking God for others. Colossians verse chapter 1, verse 3. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. And then Psalm 118, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Now, you might feel like these are just repeats of other things, but I think what's important for us to know is that we see this pattern in the New Testament and in the Old Testament, especially the book of Psalms, that we start with giving thanks and praise to the Lord. And so I want to encourage you, start your day with giving thanks and praise to the Lord. If that means you set your alarm for a certain time and you say, okay, I'm going to give thanks at this time in the morning, uh, I want this alarm is for me to stop and praise the Lord for a couple of minutes. Uh, and maybe if it's like, hey, as I'm in the shower, as I'm brushing my teeth, as I'm making breakfast, I'm going to purpose it in my heart and in my mind to make a thanksgiving a theme of my heart. Lord, I thank you for this. Lord, I thank you for my life. Lord, I thank you that even though sometimes when I wake up in the morning, things ache a little bit, I am still alive and I get to enjoy the glories of God that I find not only in this life, but in others that he has saved and redeemed and the relationships that he gives and the hope that we have. And so I want to encourage you to do that, to start at this, you know, just because we're doing a month of gratitude, I think there's some patterns we can start in our lives, some some habits, if you will, of thanksgiving that would just become the rhythm of our life. So I encourage you to look at what that looks like, how I can be purposeful in thanking God for who he is and what he's done and who he is to others. And, and the fact that I know others that have received the grace of God, I've received the grace of God and what a joy it is to be known by a holy God. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life with gratitude.